Hello Puppet fans! And welcome to this lecture. In this lab we will learn about the idempotency and resource relationship. In previous lab we have applied out first manifest, now in this lab we will again apply the same manifest file and will check the result of it. So run command puppet apply and your manifest file. As a result you can check we got the empty catalog. This is idempotency feature of Puppet. Puppet supports idempotency which makes it unique. In Puppet, one can safely run the same set of configuration multiple times on the same machine. In this flow, Puppet checks for the current status of the target machine and will only make changes when there is any specific change in the configuration. So let's test it out by adding one more user resource. So add entries for user John 2. And change the home directory and UID of that user. Save the file and rerun the puppet apply on your manifest file. So this time only new user or only new configuration will be applied. So idempotency is important, as in puppet master agent model, agent check master in every 30 minutes or so to get the catalog. And without idempotency master will not check the current state of the system and will try to reapply the changes. And and we don't want Puppet to reapply the changes if system is having the desired state. So idempotency plays an important role in Puppet. Now let's take an example of resource relationship. Edit your manifest file and do some changes in file content. Here I will set password authentication to no. Now save the file and run command puppet apply hyphen hyphen noob to know what will get changed after file content changes. As you can see due to file changes a file resource will be reapplied as sshd underscore config file resource content changes. And at that time a refresh event will also trigger for the sshd service. The reason is we have specified the resource relationship between file and service resource. So with notify, wherever there we a file change a service refresh event will also get triggered. So now run the command puppet apply on your file name and as a result a sshd service was refreshed due to a change in file content. Ok, so in this section we have learned the item potency and resource relationship. I hope you have enjoyed it. If you have time feel free to move on to next lecture.